I remember having my first hundred dollars and thinking, what am I going to do with it? And inevitably, I spent it on something I really didn't need, probably food or, you know, another hoodie when I was 17 years old. Stupid, right? Well, here are the ways that you can now invest a hundred dollars, and these ways are way better than wasting it on Chipotle. First thing is financial education. Education is worth so much more than the dollars you put into it. It's insane. I've spent quite a bit of money on financial education, whether it be books or audiobooks or whatever it may be. Those are the two main ones. And the knowledge that I have because of that and the action I've taken after I've had that knowledge has been absolutely invaluable. So do some research on some personal finance books. I plan on doing some videos on personal finance books that have really impacted me and I'll have this up soon. However, do some research and find something that's going to work for you education wise because being a forever learner is part of this journey. The next one is personal development. I spent so much money on so many different things. It's almost comical, but whether it be seminars, whether it be motivational videos, meditation, whatever it is, find something that works for you because the reality is people say I'm a, motiv I'm a, I'm a motivated person. But the reality is, I'm not motivated all the time. I just intake my mind with YouTube videos, meditation, mantras, all these different ways that I do in my morning routine to get myself excited for that day because the reality is, I am so blessed to live right now. I am so blessed to live in 2020 right this moment. It's amazing. Like We're living through the best time, although the world is crazy at times. You can transcend that and although everyone else is talking about the not so positive and terrible things about life, you can transcend that and be a positive person and you will lift people out of the gutter while you're doing it to yourself. And that to me is one of the meanings of life. Because reality is before I can fix anything or anyone or anything besides myself, I have to seriously put this house in order, this being in order before I touch anything. So the fact of the matter is, Make your bed every morning and make sure your room is clean. <laughs> Those are small, stupid things I was taught when I was younger, but the reality is the way we do some things is the way we do everything. So if you're lazy, you're always going to be lazy. Now, but you can change that. So be diligent and be super excited to live because the reality is every breath that I breathe is a complete blessing. Go for a massage. My goodness, there's so much tension in my and my lower and back in general, it's insane. Whenever I go for a massage, I leave that place literally feeling like there's nothing in my back that's gonna hold me back. No pun intended. But you can de-stress and relax and $100 will get you a good massage. Almost anywhere in the country. Maybe if you're in Manhattan, 100 bucks is no good. But you can drive outside the city, I think. Keep it in your wallet and remind yourself of how abundantly opportunities are coming your way. This goes to the magnetizing power of the universe because the reality is the more and more you think opportunities are ahead of you the more and more you will encounter them because your mind and your eyes will be open to them what i do is i take a bunch of one dollar bills and i put them all throughout my desk to remind me there is opportunity to make money everywhere i go every single place i touch on my desk has a one dollar bill to remind me that abundance is in me and abundance is around me and i'm going to spread that while giving it to others and myself abundance is everywhere if you believe it now that's the tough part believing it because there's so many things pulling for your attention vying for your negativity the world's not burning down the world is not in shambles you can make your personal economy and personal world fortified rock solid and abundantly so much greater than you can even imagine you can donate to a cause you care about I've donated money before to freshwater wells in Africa. Just a small example. You can do it towards the soup kitchen, the food bank in your town. There are so many ways and there's something about being altruistic and giving money to causes you care about that, I don't know about you, but motivates me to make the $100 over and over and over again because that feeling I get from giving is not the main thing. It's a secondary outcome of being a generous person because being generous is I would say probably one of the most important traits in someone who is abundant. You can buy a thoughtful gift for someone. Last, the last thoughtful gift I received was a wallet that was green and I was enamored. I was very, very appreciative of it because it was very random and not because of my birthday, not because of any event, but just because. 
and those kind of gifts are the best. So whether it be your significant other, your mother, your brother, your sister, one of your good friends, you can buy them something very nice, 100 bucks. And no, not a gift card. Please, no gift cards. Those are the worst gifts you can give somebody. A thoughtful gift, something that's personalized to them. Those are the best gifts. The next time you're out and about and either at a restaurant or a cup of coffee, give the server or the barista the $100 tip. I've done this with $20. I've never done with $100. But the reaction I get from the barista is absolutely priceless. They work so hard. I work hard, but they do a job that I wouldn't want to do, ever. I don't like making coffee and I don't like serving food, period. When you give this little bit of joy in someone's life, it's amazing how fast you get that joyous sentiment. Give it to somebody and see their reaction. I bet you, you will absolutely love it. Put it towards debt. That's the very most practical one. If you have debt, car, home, credit card, especially credit card, put it towards the debt. Don't think about it, put it in the bank, pay it off, be done. Debt. You wanna leverage debt for your benefit. You don't wanna use stupid debt, like credit card debt, like 20% APR, the insane APRs. You wanna use debt to create assets to give you income, but that's for a whole another video another time. Pay off the debt almost as quickly as possible. Put it towards a sinking fund, and a sinking fund is a fancy way of saying something you're saving for. So let's say you know you're gonna need a fridge in about six months, and the fridge is gonna cost 1,200 bucks. Well, 200 bucks times six is 1,200. You can put the $100 towards your fridge. Well, fridge is kind of boring. Maybe a vacation, that's more fun. But you can put that right to the sinking fund and you're that much closer to your goal. Call up an old friend, an old acquaintance, your mother, somebody you haven't spent time with in a while and take them out for a nice dinner because 100 bucks will get you guys a good meal and hopefully create a very good conversation and ambiance so you guys can enjoy one another's company. So call up that old friend and go out. Those are the 10 things I've spent my money on. I think they were all, all super important in their, in their certain time. But what other ways have you guys invested that $100? Or what other ways do you think would be a good idea to invest $100? Comment below. I want to hear what you guys have invested in or what you want to invest in. And I will see you guys on the next one.